Hey guys, we are back on the podcast. I wanted to talk to you guys about something that's sort of been going down for me for a while. And it's gonna get a little bit vulnerable because, well, we have to be. When we talk about doing business with less hustle, really what we're talking about is being incredibly vulnerable and being honest with ourselves. And for me, one of my biggest struggles in the last like three to six months actually i might even say the last 12 months to be honest is the fact that i really have felt this complete feminine urge to just do less and while this doesn't sound like a problem because technically it's what i've been trying to do with this easing out of hustle behavior what has sort of happened is i felt like i can't get myself back on the horse again and this is what i might call being in the winter of your business hello and welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm nicole a life and business coach for high functioning women i'm a self-proclaimed foodie content creator educator and your new abundance bestie in my world, we talk about all things to do with elevating your life. I post weekly videos helping the everyday women embody her highest self, create inner wealth, master her mindset, unlock her femininity, and be an absolute boss in life. I create resources, trainings, and host experiences online and in person in order to help you reconnect to your true self, not the one you think you need to be, but the you that you were born to be. So you can reclaim your power and amplify your voice to lead, love, and create as a woman. If you like my vibe and you want a little bit more abundance in your life, hit subscribe to be notified whenever I drop a new episode and be sure to check out the free resources in the description below. We all know what this feels like to some degree because we have all been there at some point in our businesses. And I want to talk about this because the winter of your business, aka the time when there is very little action going on, you don't feel motivated, you're struggling to stay on the horse, your creativity stagnated, your profits maybe have stagnated, perhaps you're even seeing a decline in your results, whether it's financial marketing in your ROI it's very easy in this winter season of your business to assume that things have fallen flat that you have hit a wall and that something has gone wrong and therefore you are doing something wrong and what we can easily do is reduce ourselves and our capability and even our dreams down to what our results are showing us right now but what we fail to see and recognize in the winter season is that this is an intentional time of replenishing and recovery. If you think about the seasons of the year, there are winter seasons that are there to actually play a function, to actually help us replenish, recover, rejuvenate. And even in the stillness of winter, when it seems like nothing is growing and nothing is happening, there is a purpose. And it is in that winter season that new things can begin to blossom once springtime, autumn, summer rolls around. These seasons are not in a vacuum and the things that we go through in our life and in our business don't just happen independently and that's it. They always affect each other and even in a season like winter in your business, it has a function and the most important thing that you can do is trust that process to trust the fact that you are in fact in the winter season where it feels like things have stagnated and it feels like nothing's really happening or working out it feels like you keep hitting yourself in a brick wall or it feels like every time you try the momentum just keeps falling off this is not a coincidence this is actually needed and perhaps your business is telling you that you need to stick it out through this winter and what's really interesting from what I've experienced is that my winter season has lasted so freaking long. While on the back end, I have really been experiencing a lot of healing, a lot of undoing of the hustle and masculine, learning to lean in my feminine. What that has caused in the front end of my business is a stagnation because I haven't been selling, I haven't been launching, I haven't been pushing, I haven't been strategic. I literally have created some sort of inconsistency on the front end of my business without knowing it and you know my brain my ego wants to make that a problem it wants to chuck a fit and say you're not a successful business owner you can't possibly
possibly be where you used to be and you are so irrelevant right now you are so far behind people don't even care anymore about what you're offering or how are you ever gonna make that much money again and you better quit now like your time is done and I am tempted to believe these stories I have about myself because I'm in the winter and because for so long I haven't seen results on the front end of my business even my finances my finances are the worst they have ever been and the worst in that that's not a judgment it's literally an observation it's literally a fact I have actually worse is not the right word but it's at the most vulnerable that it's ever been my judgment is calling it the worst you know what I mean so it's been vulnerable it's unstable it's the lowest amount of money I've ever had in my life I'm literally scraping again and I think back to the time in my life in my business journey where I was there I was at this exact place and my brain wants to make it a problem right now it wants to tell me stories about how i am a failure or everything i do doesn't work out and how look you're back where you started you've been wasting your time you should just give up and it's been a winter of the soul a winter of my business in relation to this process but we often hear winter and we think you know it's a terrible place to be we never want to be there but winter has a purpose too the cold stagnant looking still season where you're not proactively pushing, creating, springing forth with new ideas is intentional because that's a time for recovery. It's a time for receiving. It's a time for healing. It's a time for rejuvenation. And it's when you do that winter well, when you stay in that process and trust that what is happening needs to happen then you get to enjoy what springs forth in the coming season after and that is what's going to inevitably happen because everything in life and business is cyclical everything follows a cycle and nothing is ever permanent and so even if you were having the best possible season right now in your business know that there are going to be dips and there are going to be winters that you're going to enter and the whole point is not to keep running at full speed the whole year round or your entire journey because it's that dynamic of the ebbs and flows the ups and downs that make something brilliant that make it great think about how if there was no summer then the plants couldn't grow if there was no winter then the plants couldn't rejuvenate or replenish and if you take away any part of that cyclical season or cycle of seasons you break the process you mess with the flow of life and things don't grow the way they need to or they can things don't realize their fullest potential when we mess or interfere with the process and we make it a problem and this is what we do so much i feel as like hustle driven women particularly if we are so used to things working out and we get so comfortable with like being a certain way like being perceived in a way where we are perfect like for me i was just telling my business friend slash past client yesterday when we were on a work vacation work vacation that i feel like i've gotten so good at fooling everyone and in return have fooled myself that i am this put together perfect person and when i do decide to open up about something it's usually after the fact and i don't do things like have close friends lists or you know just like post things that are non curated per se like i'm a very vulnerable person i share everything basically except for when i'm an absolute mess it's kind of like i don't want to be seen as somebody who hasn't got it together and i don't think this is actually what i value this isn't actually how i want to be seen but it's what i've believed i needed to be because it's what i've worked on curating for so long and breaking out of this dimension or this expectation begins with what i tell myself and what i believe about not just my own life but about how life works to begin with so many of us are walking around as entrepreneurs believing that like life needs to be this perfect high all the time like this upward consistent motion but that's just not healthy at all and i think we all know that and so like quite transparently and vulnerably speaking i have been in the winter of winters when it comes to my business i have not launched or successfully sold anything in so long my finances need dire help they are dying and i have just i've blown through a lot of what i own and even despite all of this I can see like the silver lining and I think that's because I have been doing the inner work I have been learning to move out of just measuring success through masculine
Allen metrics, which is actually a concept that I talk about a lot in my community, the I Am Her Collective, which by the way, you can join anytime. It's totally free. I think that it's time that I entered that soft boss era where yes, I am working towards goals. Yes, I am attempting big things. I'm showing up for them when I have the energy to. I'm pouring my heart out for the things that make me passionate but I am not exhausting myself to do so. I'm not trading my joy, my pleasure to do so. I'm not breaking my own boundaries to do so. Like these are kind of the new metrics, the soft boss era that I feel like this winter is teaching me. And that's what's really great about being in a winter season because it's so still and stagnant that you actually have time and space to think. You can spend that winter season of your business overwhelmed, overthinking, trying to push, trying to get into action and just hitting the wall over and over and over again and exerting so much energy trying to be in a summer season when that's not where you are supposed to be right now. Or you could spend that season to appreciate the stillness, to find the lessons that you need to learn, to slow down and to evaluate. And I think this is what life in general is teaching me, but it's also what my business is showing me. It's kind of like, Nicole, I want to do something great through you. I want you to create something big. I want you to have an impact, but I need you to really learn how to be intuitive. I need you to listen to what's being given to you right now and to be courageous enough to not make this season mean something about your identity or about your potential as a business owner or as an entrepreneur. Because that's what we do so well as humans. We make the things that are not going right or well or our failures, we make them our identity and we consistently use the past and what hasn't worked to project into the future for what we're willing to try. Before we know it, we're too afraid to even move. We have literally paralyzed ourselves because we're like, no, 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 I've been burned before and my winter season means that I am not going to be a successful business owner or I did it once and now I'm here again at ground zero and therefore I'm a failure. You know how many people have literally like just changed their lives after attempting something great, being incredibly successful and then hitting rock bottom for whatever reason. Everything was taken out from under them. Something tragic happened in their life but it wasn't until that moment that they got their second wind that they built a business that truly was aligned like and sometimes we need that and i'm getting a bit emotional if you can tell on camera if you're watching the video because that's literally what i feel like the lesson of my life and business is right now learning to just be in the winter seasons to be in the uncomfortable places in life and business and to not make them mean anything to not attach to them and to simply find the reason to learn from it find a reason to enjoy and receive from it i hope that this encourages you if you are someone who is currently finding yourself in a winter season right now and know that it is all part of a cycle, a cyclical process. It will eventually pass, but the point of the journey is not to try to bypass it right away, but to find yourself in it and to receive from it because that's when you will ultimately grow and you'll ultimately allow yourself to thrive because now you're allowing yourself to live in this moment and to receive from it even in that experience feel abundance. While my finances and even my business right now feels like it's completely stagnated, I feel so like everywhere about where everything is right now, what it's going towards, yet I feel a sense of bliss and peace and trust because there's that knowing, because I've decided that this season matters even if I can't see it or understand it. This season matters and it's contributing to something even if it looks like it's not. And that's a resolve that I choose to have about this uncomfortable winter season that allows me to show up for it and receive from it and I just know that it will break through we will have a new era a new season on the other side of this but I can't make it happen in my own timeline so my loves I hope this helped you particularly those of you who maybe have started the new year not feeling a hundred percent clear or confident or on fire as you normally would about your life and your business but know that all of that is part of the process and it's part of what makes you human as well all right i'll chat to you in the next episode thanks for joining me bye if you want to take your abundance to another level i want to help you 
I'm a life and business coach for women who want to step into their next level by activating wealth from the inside out to help you take your first step to unlocking true abundance and your aligned potential. I'm giving you free resources, workshops, and masterclasses that you can access on demand right now. Check out www.nicoleconception.co slash free dash resources to get your hands on it. For more videos like this, check out the other playlists and series I have on this channel. And don't forget to hit subscribe to be notified whenever I drop a new video. And if you're more of the podcast type, check out Freedom in Flow, where I dive even deeper into the concepts that will help you create less hustle and more flow, abundance and alignment in your life and business. Now, if you're a reader, you'll want to subscribe to my email list for unfiltered, honest and most importantly, applicable life upgrades. Now, don't be a stranger, connect with me on Instagram and TikTok and send me a message. I love getting to know you and your story. It's why I do this. Okay, my lovely, that's all for now. I'll see you soon. Signing off, Nicole.